Hello, hello. We are live, and Tara is making noise with Terranolia Side Stories. This is episode 17 of Side Stories. We've done a lot of side stories. We've done a lot of side things in this world. But uh, we're back, and uh, we are going to find out what's going on in Japan. Wait, is this being recorded? It is being recorded, yeah. Oh, no. Now people will hear me being bad at this game that i don't nah it'll uh, be that i like but i've only played like a couple times and uh, of course we have uh joe guest starring hello joe hello i'm joe i'm here we are yeah yeah that's me we are playing some dungeons and dragons fifth edition it'll be fun so we have all of our lovely characters here and they all have lovely names but um We'll we'll introduce ourselves to them uh, in just a second here. So I think what we see, if this is a movie or a TV show or whatever, we are kind of like seeing, um, of course, the cherry blossoms, right? Flowing in the breeze in Japan. Um, Just, you know, a group of these cherry blossoms that are just, you know, being uh, tossed about by the wind. And uh, we're in the mountains somewhere, and we just kind of follow along with these cherry blossoms until we see the entrance to a, a temple carved at least partially into the side of a cliff face. And uh, it has various signs of like um, water iconography, waves, the ocean, the moon, those sorts of you know ocean-related things. And uh, we see a, a group of uh, hobgoblins um and they are you know samurai hobgoblins right so you you see them decked out in this you know samurai armor and uh they are there's one of them that obviously looks like he's kind of like in charge um the other ones just kind of look like you know run-of-the-mill soldier types but they are on horses and they are um kind of prodding a group of four individuals towards the entrance of the temple and uh, we, the, the the main like hobgoblin guy, this samurai warlord dude, he says, um, "You have until morning light tomorrow to bring me back the scepter. If you don't return in that time, then we will leave you here, and you will not be able to find your way back. Do not fail me, and maybe you will have your freedom." And uh, we see these four individuals who were prisoners of the hobgoblins and now are being given weapons and armor and whatever materials they may need to delve the temple and get him this magic item of some sort or another. Uh, Let's find out who these people are. So we see a a turtle. Yeah. Uh, Would you describe Kawasaki for us? Mm -hmm. He is a turtle and he's kind of... Well, the token is kind of what I was thinking, but he's kind of more dark blue in color than actually green. So he's kind of kind of going for that ninja look, you know, kind of hard to see it, nice sort of thing. He does not look as happy as he does in the token. He's kind of probably grizzled a bit. I, he, what did I want to put his age at? I didn't actually give him an age. I don't remember what I put his age at. Um, but he's kind of, <laughs> he is a teen because I had to go for the meme. Um, but he's just kind of, Looks like a ruffian. Looks like he came from the wrong side of the street and is not happy to be here for sure. Awesome. What 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 weapon does he have? He has two short swords because a long sword's a martial weapon. And I couldn't do cool. that and make it more authentic. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So you're you're Leonardo basically. I am Leonardo, yeah, okay. <laughs> but I am I am chaotic neutral Leonardo. Interesting. And I technically it says in the rules, as an urchin with my background, I have a rat, a small rat. So... <laughs> of course, of course. You do. So he he lives in my shell. This is the the second time that there has been a Ninja Turtles reference in Thray. Uh, and there was an episode of Anno Domini, um, and this is actually exists because Emily is a patron and gives me on Patreon, and we talked about this. An episode <laughs> of Anno Domini 
involving she was just basically just like i want like a rat person with turtles to to appear um and so they they met a were rat in the sewers and he made turtle soup and that was the the reference there um so this is the second time we've had that reference in this I, I, that, there's a little bit more of a reference in my bonds i have i owe my survival to another urchin who taught me to live on the streets ah very nice very nice awesome and so we pan over and we see uh tsuki so what does tsuki look like uh um, who is she i'm a half elf and i have white hair and I have a mastiff next to me who's wearing some hide armor. And his name is Inu. Very nice. I don't know if I'm saying that dog. well. <laughs> My name is Moon. <laughs> I mean, you know? yeah. I imagine that um, Tsuki grew up among, like, whatever. I think, I think in this roughly this time frame i think there is some sort of dutch you know trading settlement in japan so it, it's possible you grew up among humans and then when you were your your grasp of the japanese language maybe isn't the uh the most sophisticated oh, perfect or the dialect of elven that exists in this setting rather uh awesome cool Sounds good. And your Mastiff has hide armor, so over its yes. hide, it has other hide of some yeah. other animal. Does it give yeah. him advantage on stealth checks? Does it, would it does disadvantage on stealth? Oh, hi. <laughs> advantage. <laughs> okay. All right. And moving on, we pan over to Alyssa. How do you pronounce your character's name? Aika. Aika, okay. Uh, who's Aika? Um, um, Aika is also a half-elf. Um, who is a little older than I think everybody else, but you know, half elves are, you know, really young looking all the time. So she looks young. Um, she's got dark hair and she is carrying around a sakohashi, which is like a Japanese like flute. That's basically like made out of bamboo, right? I'm pretty sure it's made out of like bamboo. I believe so. Yeah. So that's what she plays. Um, and she is a noble of noble birth, but um, does not flaunt that noble birth to anybody. I mean, she's probably like a, a bastard, right? Because she's half. Yeah, elf. basically. Yeah. She's, mm -hmm. she's like a bastard. And yeah. she also, you know, fell in love with like a person, uh, an heir from mm -hmm. a different tribe that they don't different get along clan, with yeah, so yeah. she was basically just like disowned by her family sad like, day. i just want to play oh, no. forbidden love yeah that is sad so cool and last but certainly not least we pan over and we see how do you pronounce your name joe hey okay just k okay uh i put a last name which is okay hirano hirano yeah um he didn't know the k is an elf he's not half i'm the only full elf i guess uh <laughs> he has dark long dark hair which he wears pulled up into a top knot hey and so this wearing... picture works makes sense then yeah um and he uh is wearing like religious robes mm -hmm. for, uh... yeah awesome lit so uh, we see the four of you basically being yeah being prodded by the hobgoblins toward the mouth of this temple, and uh, I mean we don't necessarily need to get into a whole big detail as to like how each of you ended up here, but just a very brief explanation, like well yeah how did how did you guys end up in this situation? <laughs> so think... were hobgoblins specifically in this like are so... they like the are they like the Koreans that are taking over Japan? I believe I did put down like hobgoblins as like ta in Thailand or something like that. Hobgoblins in Thailand. Yeah. Yes. Um. But I, I think these guys, these are just a different different subspecies of hobgoblin that are or kind of along the lines of like an oni in in Japanese culture, right? Like it's it's like it's a monster that has, you know. There, there, there are some monstrous samurai clans and, you know, hobgoblins and, like, uh, ogres probably for sure. Um, and so this is just, it, it's just a, basically a, like a clan of hobgoblins that um, 
have a, a stake in some part of Japan and um, yeah. Warlords and whatnot. So yeah, how did you, I mean, it, basically, I guess first question are, were you a guys, a group before this and you all got captured or did you each get captured separately? And then are just forced being forced to work together to do this. Uh, I, I would think that maybe we met at some point and then we got captured. I don't think we've been a group for very long. Sure. Uh, we met at a tavern, of course. <laughs> yes, we met at a tavern. It's pro probably a tea a tea place. Oh, this a, is a more classy. Room. Yeah, a tea room. A tea shop for sure. Mm -hmm. A tea shop that I frequent because I love tea. The Jasmine oh, Dragon. <laughs> right, of course. Okay, yeah. So you guys, what was it? It's just like you guys were maybe okay. Let's say this. How about you guys were like in this tea shop, right? And maybe you got yeah, you were getting acquainted and just talk, like talking over tea. And then hobgoblins literally burst into the tea shop and captured everybody, right? And they took they took some people, you know, the, the normal people for slaves. And then they realized that the four of you were pretty skilled adventurers. And so they're like, all right, hey, you know, we want you to do this thing. And if you do, you'll earn your freedom. Um, yeah, so they're, they're forcing you into this, uh, this temple. And uh, this is a temple of, uh, let's see. Oh, my God. I need to look up something. This is uh, Suijin, Suijin, the Shinto god of water, this is the temple for him. Um, literally, water people or water deity is what his name means. It refers to the heavenly and earthly manifestations of the benevolent Shinto divinity of water. So, um, yeah, it's a the. Um, yeah, this temple of his, and there's apparently a magical scepter somewhere inside that uh, this hobgoblin wants, uh, and you guys are being forced to to get it. Good thing I speak Aquan. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I mean, yeah. What, what does this look like? Do you guys just go in? No, f no fuss. Because I mean, technically, you guys could just turn around and attack them right now if you wanted to. How many of them are there? <laughs> Uh, there's the, the, the main guy and then six other hobgoblins. <laughs> Cause yeah, you could. I don't know the CR of a hobgoblin well enough to want to do that. There are, there are multiple different CRs for different hobgoblins. Uh, then that means he picked the hardest ones. So let's just go in the temple. <laughs> I think this adventure could get interesting. Let's go. <laughs> I think Kay's just going to follow what the rest of the I group mean, does. Yeah. My I, thought... Kay's definitely thought not going to attack all the hobgoblins by himself. Yo, He's going to wait for the other guy. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> My thought is if they took us in, chances are they can take us out. Mm -hmm. Or else we wouldn't have let them get us this. Who knows? Far. Maybe if we get the scepter, maybe we'll have an advantage and then we can take them out. Yes. Whoa. I Great think if thought. that's our plan, we shouldn't discuss it here in front of them. Let's, let's go into the temple, guys. We're getting we're getting the scepter for you guys. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah, I say we just go inside. Just do it. Cool. I am. You can uh, count on us, Mister Hobgoblins. Quickly, making sure your tokens are ready to go here. Um, yeah, I mean, what what does this look like as you guys enter? It's just you know. Uh, 10 foot wide corridor kind of leading into the this temple um wh what is the like conversation or non-conversation looking like as you what, what's the vibe of the group kawasaki is grumpy <laughs> yeah but he's always grumpy so i mean it's pretty typical <clears throat> I mean, Aika definitely doesn't have, like, a smile on her face, but she's not, like, grumpy or, like, unhappy or angry or anything. She's just kind of, like, neutral. Sure. I think Suki is more just kind of, like, curious about what's going on and why they would, like, what's so important about this scepter, like, what's really going on here in this temple. Mm -hmm. I think Kay is a little bit in shock, because yeah. I think... I think Kay hasn't actually done much adventuring. I think Kay kind of left his temple 
with like big ideals of sure. he's gonna help common people and whatever and he met all these other adventures and now he's been kidnapped by hobgoblins <laughs> and is in a temple <laughs> and i think he's just trying i'm just trying to process mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I would like to turn around and ask the main hobgoblin guy. I'm like, so why send other people in? Uh, uh, well, I say, we're not your first group, are we? He just, he scowls at you. And then he just says, I have no reason to speak to you. Enter or die. Your choice. I vote enter. Can I make an insight roll to see if that means that he sent other people in before sure. us? Sure, yeah. That's fine. 17 Let's yes go. yeah he has and they haven't returned I'm like, hmm. <laughs> so that's terrifying this is an aladdin situation mm -hmm. <laughs> does a does a lion head come out and say only the diamond in the rough no no nothing like that can i say it no <laughs> <laughs> so then i could just go so i'll take that as a yes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you could. All right, do you guys see stuff now? Yes. Um, yes. Perfect. Awesome. Hallway. Okay, so I got a, uh, a a a list of map stuff that automatically has dynamic lighting, which means I didn't have to Ooh. do it myself, and it was it's, it looks so nice, and I'm I'm happy about it. So uh, yeah, do you guys you guys see everything? You can see your characters yep. and whatnot. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I do see it. I was about to say no, but then I figured out how to see it. Uh, yeah, there you go. So you guys can put yourselves in any order and then uh, go exploring, um, right? Kawasaki went in last. He made sure everyone else was in, was glaring at the hobgoblins the entire time before. Sure. He okay. Sure, I'll lead the pack. I think I'll, I'll stand here because <laughs> I'm not leading the pack, but I'm not I'm not being last one with the hobgoblins either. Yeah, so you, you see down the corridor and um, you see there is, you know, there's alcoves on, on this, on either side of this, um, just with some, probably some offerings to the, the water god. It looks like the, this corridor is probably like a normal, like people would go in here and like give offerings to whoever lives in these mountains. Um, but it looks like maybe the rest of the, the temple is like kind of off limits. And so... You know, people come in here and give offerings, but that's about it. Uh, there's doors right here, right? Two doors right here, okay. and then there's a big door there at the end of the corridor. Is there any, like, writing on the wall or anything like that? Um, metaphorically, there has been writing on the wall up to this point, but um, li literally, um, I guess, probably. There's more, like, murals than anything, right? Like, okay. um, yeah, various religious iconography of the uh, the um, oh, water, um... water god. Would I uh, know anything about this religion? Yeah, because, I am proficient uh, in religion. You can make a religion check. I, I am literally a Shinto priest, so <laughs> would I just know? <laughs> uh, I mean, both of you roll. I mean, yeah, Suki didn't okay. doesn't really know. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll religion. Uh, your... So what you can do yeah. is if you go on your character sheet um, in the little column that says skills on the left-hand side on the core part, there's little buttons that you can just click and it rolls it automatically. Okay, where does it actually tell me the roll? I'm hearing a sound oh, effect. Oh, see but... the chat on the right, the chat function. Yeah, one of the the leftmost tab on the the right. The leftmost. Um. The little the chat right. oh, chat bubble. Okay, yeah. I've somehow pulled it up. There you go. I too would also like to make a religion. Yeah, anyone who can. Would... Obviously, sure. <laughs> you guys don't really know much well... about. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow, none of us know anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, basically, you just know if this is the water god. I okay, know. cool. There you go. <laughs> okay, that um, it. let's see. Uh, okay, hmm. everyone, big doors versus small doors. I say big door. Go big or go home. I say small doors. I was talking to this big doors. Come on, let's hey, get this over with. Sense of adventure? Look, sorry, Kay. It looks like you've been outvoted. Let's try the try the big door. Um, okay. Does the big door open? Um. So it's like you, you put your your hands to it, and right away you kind of feel like a sense of unease. 
it's it you, you know that you could open the door it's it's not like there's anything preventing you from doing so but you just feel this like a supernatural sense of unease like you're you're trespassing on sacred ground if you go any further sort of thing um i mean it's either this or die so <laughs> i think i'm gonna trespass versus die yeah that's fair uh let me see how i can do this i think i can just yeah perfect oh great Okay. Look at that. I can just little wow. move the little door icons. Uh, yeah, so, so you enter and it is basically like, yeah, this, this shrine, little pedestal thing uh, surrounded by water. Uh, the water is crystal clear and uh, just beautiful to look at, honestly. There are various like cherry blossoms. You don't know how they got here or why they're fresh still, but they're just, you know, scattered along the water. Um, and mm. this is a, um, this is like a raised pedestal with a, a bowl of water as well. And no, nothing else significant about the room at all. Um, but you could investigate further if you'd like. Um, I mean, I feel like let's just move on cause we're looking for a scepter and mm -hmm. this is a room without a scepter. Sure. It's a very beautiful room, though. Look at the cherry blossoms, and it's... Or we could move on. They are very beautiful. <laughs> Kay's just like, wow, look at this temple. How pretty it is. Like, we don't have this in our temple. We're like, keep going. We don't have anything like this in our temple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but we have cherry blossoms. It, it's whatever. We can move on to the next room. <laughs> uh, is that another door? Uh, it is, yeah. Give me, give me one brief moment. Yeah, great, perfect. I was just looking at, um, trying to look up something in the DM's guide. Trying to look up how the monsters work in this room. No. Also, <laughs> how exactly. the traps, obviously. No, not exactly. Also, um, does Inu need a character token? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can grab the mastiff for you. Thanks. Re remind me, Alyssa and Emily, which one of the tokens is which of you? I'm the white hair. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I have a dog now. Hooray. Oh, can I, can you let me move him? Yeah. Obviously, Seth is the big turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously, Seth is the turtle. I like turtles. There you go. <laughs> I like trains. <laughs> I like cereal. I like chocolate milk. Um, I like potatoes. Yeah, I like potatoes. <laughs> I like your face, Em. <laughs> I think you're all referencing different things there, but I love it. <laughs> I, um, I like potatoes is from the same thing as I like chocolate. No, I know. Cereal, I know. So, I know you yeah. were quoting the same thing. Mine was not from that. Yeah. I, I mean, I like trains is also from something different. Right. I, know. I like yeah. turtles is really old. Which makes me feel old. That's from like high school. That's like one of the phrases I wanted to learn American Sign Language first. Wow. <laughs> I feel like all of those references were about equally old. They were all things that I was aware of in high school, I think. Mm -hmm. Besides my face. Uh, yeah, I didn't get that reference, but that's okay. <laughs> that's just referencing a... real life. Oh, well, fair. But yeah, you can open the door, man. Oh, okay. Oh, look, it's a long hallway. Oh, wow. Um, can I, like, check for traps? Sure, yeah. What check is that? Is that investigation? Yes, it'd be investigation. Cool. Can um, I Can I pet M's dog? Yes, of course you can. Does uh, does, okay. uh, does uh, Inu actually let uh, oh, Kay Oh, yes, pet he's him? very friendly. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Good boy. Oh my okay. gosh. Jeez. Of course. Of course you can pet my dog. Okay. Who actually had um, the best investigation? <laughs> not um, me. I didn't roll. Do you want should I, I roll investigation? I have a zero. Just, just who has the best like modifier. You have a uh, one. I don't okay. even I have a two. I have a one. I have I have a one. Kawasaki, what do you have? Zero. Zero. Uh well who who had a two? I think um, we all had one, didn't we? Uh, no, Alyssa. Yeah, that was had yeah. a two. Oh, if okay. you were wondering, Inu has a minus four. <laughs> so, oh, so, I rolled a 20. Oh, oh nice. Okay, oh, yeah. So 
Ika, you you definitely notice that there is there's a trap, um, and you you catch uh, catch Suki before she walks into the corridor. Um, basically, it's like a let's see what kind of trap would this what kind of traps are there in fifth edition that I can just Requires find bear. There's probably uh, an entry here. Yeah, cool. Perfect traps. Uh yeah, it's a um a classic pressure plate thing, um except classic. there is a you know, various again, various iconography on the walls um on each of these little you know, pool fountain thingies. There is a uh, the the image of a dragon, uh, and again, these are like Chinese lung style dragons, right? Um, yeah. And it you, you can tell Ika just the way that it it is is the the pressure plates are like one whatever is in front of each of these um, little fountains. There is a. Uh, I, it probably wouldn't be all of them. I guess it would be, let's say, just this one. Um, maybe maybe just this one and this one, just to kind of throw people off. Um, but you, you can tell that there's a pressure plate in front of this fountain and in front of this fountain. And when you step on it, this little dragon is going to shoot, like, frost magic at you. So. Got it. So, like, right before we get there, I just, like, put my arm out. And I'm just yeah. like, nope, go around, step well over. Is it is this literally just you notice the pressure plate, Ika, or what is there is there another reason that you would notice this? Um I don't know. I'm a bard. I just know a lot of stuff. Maybe you've heard a story about maybe, this place. Maybe I or something I, maybe like I it. I heard a story about, you know, how like these dragon statues, right? Like they would like shoot out. Maybe I heard one of them like shooting out fire before mm -hmm. yeah and so i was like looking like the first couple ones if there's like a dragon on like a couple other ones i saw them and i was like huh oh yeah i remember that story and then as we're approaching that one i see like the mouth has like some like water dripping out yeah of yeah, it yeah. Mm -hmm. and i'm like hold up yeah and i look at the and then i see the like the plate or whatever like like it's more like worn or something like that mm -hmm. or less worn actually probably yeah. because they go around it yeah yeah there you go so um that is that is the case and uh so you can go around it if you would like yes please yeah okay. can we just like go ahead so yeah we see forward. we also see this hallway that that's like yep a small little door do we want to go in the small door or do we want to just go straight ahead um why don't we go through the small door we can always come back Okay. Yeah, I was about to say the opposite. We can always. Well, I guess we have time. We have a limited time. It's true. Okay, if you guys want to go first, because it's one by one, so I'll stay behind Inu. I say I don't think sending in the bard first is a good <laughs> idea. Fine, I'll go yeah. in first. Oh my gosh! Okay, send in your dog first. He's not very smart, and he has like five hit points. So. Yeah, he just makes me feel better. Uh, so this door is locked or jammed or something. Um, let's see. Wait, does anybody have lock picking skills? Wait, I just realized I have proficiency with lock picking tools, but I don't know if you can. That's actually something you can buy, is it? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's Wait, like let me check. tools it... or something. Because I should have, I should have grabbed those if I didn't have them already. Um. If you're a criminal, it should just give you that, doesn't it? I'm an urchin, not a criminal. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything like thieves tools in the adventuring gear unless it's... Did you have extra money? Nine gold. Yeah, you can just have it. I'm fine with that. Okay. So I have thieves tools, and I have proficiency with thieves tools, so... Let me just... Okay, well then I'm going to back out and let you do that. Now I will have no gold. <laughs> okay. Um, Not like yeah, you really I'll... needed it, but yeah. I'm a monk with thieves' tools, so it's great. Um, so 
Yeah, that is a little questionable. What? It, how, I, it's been a, forever since we actually rolled on a tool. What is that again? I think you just click on it and it will tell you which, it will ask you which stat you're um, using. I mean, for this, it would be dex, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good because I have a plus five. To, oh, no, I don't have a plus five to dex. I have a lot of dex. 15 is not bad. Yeah, I think 15 is fine. Uh, you hear the click, the lock click open. And uh, when you step inside, you see basically what amounts to a like a frozen graveyard. It's just a bunch of priests that are just in various states of being frozen to death, sort of a thing. Okay, turn around, and say there's. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you see uh, that there are like, you know, stairs up here. There's uh, various like these alcoves are right next to there. There's some sort of um, chest in on each of them. Um, that has, you know, it's, it seems like there's a lock on it. Um, and, uh, the, there. yeah, there's a, there's a one door here, That's one door sure here stuff. and one door here. Uh, yeah. He, he's going to look back towards the other one. He's going to see if there's just, I can't think of an accent. I could do this. Not going to sound offensive. So I'm just gonna, not going to try an <laughs> accent. I was going to go, that is just, <laughs> but I can't do I can't keep that up. Um, yeah. So I'm going to look to one of them and say, cover me. And just kind of walk towards the chest and try and open that one too. Uh, what's your passive perception? Ah, uh, frick. Uh, I was worried about that. Uh, passive perception is 12. Okay. Um, would they be right behind me though, since I was, or would they be standing? Would you guys really be standing back depends. or back? Uh, up to you I, guys. I mean, you s said cover me. I think yeah. I, I would kind of move, instinctively move to help, I think. Yeah. Even if I'm not necessarily the best person, if yeah, no one I else mean, is moving forward anyway. I mean, the cleric would be a good person to have right behind me. Obviously. Yeah. I just had gotten totally out of the hallway so you could move into yeah. the doorway since it's a very small hallway and apparently you can't scooch past a half elf and a dog. <laughs> He's a big boy. Sure. So I think Ica will, um, will like stay out in the hall just to like keep watch. Mm hmm just like while you guys are in there. Uh, okay. Real quick, I, I was supposed to say, you guys remind me of something funny. As I was doing like the background stuff, I was go, I was like trying to roll the personality traits to make it different. And then I rolled this one and was like, no, this is stupid. Um, it was, I like to squeeze into small places where no one else can, ca can get me. I'm like, I'm a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So I was like, I'll just pick them. Okay, so I think it makes total shell. sense. Yeah, exactly. Shell. I mean, that's true, I guess. But I actually, that is an ability I can use too. I will, I'll walk in. Do I know? I'm guessing I don't notice whatever is about to come towards me. I will say, like, I keep my swords. Uh, it, my swords are in hand, like almost all the time. Like I put them down to pick the lock, pick them back up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nothing happens when you like walk into the room. Um, but I was just, I was just asking. Okay, where's the chest? <laughs> uh, there are there's there's chests on in each of these alcoves, right? So there's like stairs up going up into these little alcoves. Actually, there's is it is is it light in here? Uh. Oh, good question. Yeah, everything is dark in here. Do you guys? Does, who doesn't have dark vision? I just assumed you would. I don't think I have dark. Vision. Okay, so you probably have like have a torch or something, vision. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my dog. Because here's the thing: if if I if it's dark in there, I'm going to try and stealth up the stairs. So I'm gonna assume you have a torch then. Well, so oh, I, what I probably do is I hand the other guy the hand um, uh, K hey, the torch. K the torch. And just kind of try and sneak over there. Okay, I'm gonna. To the one of them. I'm gonna give your token bright light emitting from them. Okay. You said there were like frozen, dying, or dead priests in here, right? Uh yeah, basically just scattered around the room in various states of half of like in the middle of dying, or they were in the middle of dying when they just froze to death, basically, right? Like they're in in various states of agony, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So so I'm gonna try and do a stealthy stealth. Ooh, natural 20. Oh, wow, okay. Let's go. Very stealthy stealth. Can I try to, like, inspect the frozen bodies, see if I can sure. find out anything more about how they died? About or how they maybe died? even, like, what they were doing in here or whatever? Um, yeah, it depends on, depends on what you want to know, but either medicine or arcana 
like right medicine about like more specifically like how they died and arcana about like the magic stuff that happened to them um either one it could be different information but uh i guess arcana is more what i'm asking okay yeah 19 um, um so you know i did i guess question Ika, did you like tell people why you didn't want them to stand in front of the going on these pressure plates Elsa. Elsa. what did your character tell everybody like why they didn't want they shouldn't step on these pressure plates okay mm -hmm. Um, so, K, okay, I mean, obviously, right, it looks like it's the same sort of thing, like f some sort of frost magic. And then you notice um, just b the way that the magic or th that the whole room is like this. Um, you look at the pillars uh, on either side here, right? These these two pillars. And you see, oh, uh, OK, there's probably some sort of like secret compartment inside that if we do something bad in this, something that the room doesn't want us to do in this room, then f like frost magic will just start pouring out of these pillars. Are you going to tell okay. me that? Okay. And then the doors, uh, and then yeah, and then I, the doors. I relay all that yeah. to my turtle friend. And and it like legitimately, I think you look around at the room and you you see basically it's made as like a freezer. If you know, it, it literally is like the the room's gonna lock itself, sort of thing. It's the <laughs> right. reason I didn't so want to go in. So these priests weren't like going about regular temple activities and got attacked by something. They set off a trap in here. Basically. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and and it's kind of confusing because it does look like this is. I mean, this is a temple. So and these right. look like acolytes. So you're not entirely sure why the acolytes of the water god would suddenly like trigger this trap or whatever. But yeah, that seems like mm -hmm. what happened. Very mysterious. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I I relay all that to <laughs> Kawasaki. Yes, that is his name <laughs> that I couldn't remember. Yeah. Kawasaki. Kawasaki. Um, what what does a door look like? Uh, which which door? Is it the door we just went through? Is it wooden? Is it stone? Uh, metal. Metal. Hmm. Like iron. Does it look like it's gonna close? Uh, they, because if it was wooden, I would say tear down the freaking door because I don't want to get locked in here. Yeah. I don't think you know anything more about the doors specifically. I mean, you could make it. Oh, I was just wondering if it was wooden, because if yeah. it was wooden, I would it's hack not, the door no. to bits. Um, that'll be it'll be a little bit more difficult than that to take the door off. Still, uh, uh, are the are the ladies going... just stay staying outside still at this point? Ika is. She's just. I mean, she's trying to. Just, I told it. I just said I was going to keep watch in the hallway. Make Got sure it. Yeah. The halls. I'll just kind of come over here, and then I'll have. And sit right there. <laughs> and I'm the okay. Dang it! I have a bad feeling that these chests are just gonna screw me over and freeze me to death. What if one of them contains the scepter we need, and all we That's need to do problem. is open them? That's the problem. That's the problem. Like... <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Um, how big? How big are these chests? And what are the chests made out of? They're made out of wood and metal, um, right? So they have metal locks um, and metal hinges and stuff, right? And, and metal. Do they look heavy? Piece. They look moderately heavy. It also, so they're like, um, I don't know, the size of, I don't know, a small, like a, the size of a black lab puppy, maybe, right? So it's like, <laughs> it's like modestly big. <laughs> Um, not something you would just well, want to carry around with you all the time. How many weeks old is the Black Lab? Like two months. Okay. 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 Um, okay. Question. So they're they're like, if I come over here, can I like see them? They're up at the top. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Would I be able to use Thorn Whip to bring them down what and can... possibly crush them open? Interesting. Let's take a look at Thorn Whip, shall we? I make a melee creature. It's against a creature in range. That's why I'm like, can I make it against a chest? And right. then you make a melee well, spell these are attack. Mimics you would be able to. And you pull. I can pull the creature up to ten feet closer to me. Let's see. If the creature is large or smaller. Is it cold in here? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, I was just gonna has say, it 
has it been cold through the whole time? I think, or yeah. Is it I mean, cold you guys are here? you guys are in the mountains, so it's like just been chilly in general. Um, yeah, but that's, it's hard that's to. I yeah, I mean, it seems as cold as it should be. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna say someone definitely needs to keep an eye on the door so we don't get locked in. Well, here. that's that's I'm right at the doorway. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it says creature, but it, nothing about the spell seems to be like it's locking onto someone's life force or anything like that. So you can, yeah, if you wanted to. Is, is that a cantrip or is that a... It's a cantrip. Yeah. Okay, then then go ahead. If it was like a first level, I'd say don't waste it. Okay. <laughs> if you're going to try that, I'm going to walk back out of the... I'm yeah, so I'm going more towards the door. for the, the top chest to like bring it... To like 30 feet, bring okay. Bring it down, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, yeah. I mean, I think you do it. Yeah, you and then whip it over. Um, and of course, the the door locks and everything goes crazy. And I, I mean, like being taking... right next to the door, it doesn't. Well, so you can make it. A, you can make a roll and stuff. Obviously, you know, I'm not. I'm saying that like the, the trap activates. Yeah, I'm not saying yes. like you guys are locked. Haha. -ha. Um, but <laughs> the trap card was activated. Though. Yeah, exactly. If, um, if it starts to close, I'm gonna bust towards it. Okay, uh, what I think both I of us are in your way. But I will push through you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm the only one who can unlock it. Yeah, Kawasaki, go ahead and uh make a athletics roll to make it in time and like Ah oh, frick. <laughs> yeah, seven. So Wait, you do I slip we all on the make ice. Rolls uh I, I don't or... think Suki you can because you're in the middle of the thorn whip when this happens. Um okay. but uh Kay, you can if you wanted to. Um an athletic roll? Yeah, if you wanted to. And you could do either to, like, grab the door to make sure it doesn't, you know, swing I closed, or my... to just go, go on the other side of the door and, like, make it out of the room. Uh, I, I'm going to try to, uh, like, hold it open or something. Okay. I, I'm not going to abandon my new friends in here. Yeah, athletics. So kind. <laughs> <laughs> A one. Let's go. Okay. Here. Woo! Okay. Yeah. Okay, hold up. Can I try to make like if I see like the door closing, could I try to like throw a dagger at it to like get it to like close just on the dagger? Just barely, yeah, like on the dagger. Uh sure, you can make a incredibly difficult dagger roll. Amazing. A twenty! Yeah. <laughs> nice! I, yeah, that was the DC I had set in my head. So um Good job, Melissa. <laughs> so this is what happens, right? Like uh, Kawasaki just tries to like book it towards the okay i think it's like kawasaki and k k are just both like tripping over each other trying to get to the door and suki's like in the middle of thorn whip and so they're trying to get past her but you're like in the way and so it just doesn't work and then it's just like oh no the door's gonna close you all like reach out and then dagger <laughs> right in there yeah and and just like basically just barely pry keeping it pried open um but the the pillars do open up and frost begins to pour out into the room so um, that's not good i think you have like one round one you know round of doing stuff before like you start taking damage but it seems like it's gonna get real cold in here real fast so okay um so and i'm assuming meth was anything in the chest as it got like did it break open from a fall and a thorn whip i think so um let's let's see if it did have anything in it i don't know Oh, he doesn't oh, know. That means there's nothing in this room. It, it didn't just, just magically have the scepter in it. Darn. I know. That wouldn't that be nice? Uh, okay. Would I someone... mean, I didn't think that, but I think Kay would think that. <laughs> would someone roll a D100 for me? I will. 45. All right. And then roll a 1D6 for me. Okay. And then also what? a two D four. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, so first there's five different like art objects, so various like religious, like piece like craftsmanship, moon sep uh, not scepters, but like moon iconography, various like moon stuff or water stuff. Uh, uh, both, right? Like yeah, basically it's like you know moon moon connected to the moon of like the ocean and all that stuff, right? Um, I like the tide. Yeah, exactly. So, but yeah, various like stuff that you think would be valuable, but it's just, you know, normal like art objects. Uh, but there is a magic item inside. Um, 
Would you roll another d100 for me? 65. 65. There is a potion inside. Okay. Um, well, we're going to need that here in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Can I, like, grab the potion and, like, try and get out the door? Yeah. I mean, you, 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 you can grab the potion and then you'd have to basically pry, like, push the door open with strength at this point. Okay. Initiative to see who goes first or just whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't think it matters super much. Everybody can do a thing. It doesn't matter what in what order necessarily. Cool, cool. Um, well, I'm not super strong, but uh, I have a no, plus that's four. The end, that's the end of my sentence. <laughs> I have a plus four to athletics. I just rolled horribly before. Um, cool. So should we all try and help yeah, our strong turtle friends to <laughs> give him advantage? I w- I would like to help. Yeah, cool. yeah, let's Perfect. help. Oh, okay. oh, I would, instead of just, like, saying I'm helping, um, since uh, Kay can do that, I would like to cast Guidance. Ah, so I was going to say. Four. Perfect. Um, how much is that? An extra D4. Okay. So roll this, roll Athletics with Advantage. Exactly, yep. And roll a D4, because I'm not sure a 13 will do it. Mm, 14. No, I don't think 14 is quite enough. Uh, so it, you're you're pushing you're pushing with all your might, but it's just not budging. Um, you're you're, you're gonna be pulling with all his might. Uh, no, I think it it opened outward, and so this is him pushing outward, right, to try to get it open. Um, <clears throat> and so yeah, I mean that's that's what you guys spend your turns doing, just trying to like, push on this thing. Uh, Ika, Ika. Uh, what do you want I'm like, well, crap. And I'm not very strong either. Um, could could our pushing from this side give her advantage on that side for pulling? <laughs> like, put my fingers in and try to pull. It's I guess it's possible that it's easier to do it from the outside. So yeah, sure. Uh, what would that be? Athletics. Athletics. Yep. I have like a plus two to athletics, so this should go really well. Oh, come on! <laughs> At least you didn't get a critical failure. We're uh, gonna die! Yeah, so this is not working. Um, and you don't say, Caleb. Let's see what how much damage you guys take. Caleb, you're weak. I know you are. I know you are. I have very few HP. Each of you take six points of cold damage as you... Uh, begin to freeze oh no yeah so you can just click on your token minus off the health if you want to uh oh so you can just like click on that where that 33 is and literally just type in minus six and it will do it for you minus six yeah oh, you guys have so much Fantastic. hp yeah okay. so uh next round what do you guys want to do <laughs> Do we um, want to just try that again? You can, yeah. I, yeah, oh, I don't know. Okay, here, let me hold on. I'm gonna say, um, hold on. Let, let me let me do something real quick. Um, uh, Kawasaki, you your shell is really shiny and it looks really great. <laughs> and give him a bardic inspiration. Yes. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to guide him once again. Okay, we'll see if I roll better. Um, with the power of the moon and, and with, the earth. And with Kay helping. Yep. Yes, I am I am helping. Oh, a 19. Okay, then, Plus yeah. bardic what? inspiration and guidance. Do we want oh, no. guidance? Well, Plus I, guidance. I will, I'm just going to use the guidance. I'm going to save the yeah. bardic so, inspiration. So technically you, yeah, technically, you don't need any more than that. 19 is, is, is well, good enough. I think I have to use guidance now or else I you lose. You do. Um, yeah. Oh, guidance. No, guidance lasts a minute. Oh, okay, perfect. So you don't have to use it if you don't want to. I'll hold on to it just in case I need it within the next minute. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you managed to just, yeah, push open with all of your strength. Everyone's helping sort of thing. And uh, yeah, the door finally swings open. But yeah, you've taken your cold damage. And then the door <laughs> shuts closed behind you. And, uh, it shuts. Uh, okay. Yeah. I would like to run to Inu. And, it it um, seems like it has some sort of like... um. Uh, timer or something where it's like it's gonna freeze everything inside and then and and then be open again, sort of a thing. 
Interesting. Yeah. She grabbed you grabbed the potion though, right, Emily? I grabbed the potion. Mm -hmm. Do I know what the potion is? Give me an arcana check. Oh, and Alyssa, that's a D four ten minutes, right? A D six for ten minutes. I know exactly what this potion is. Yeah, it's a potion of climbing. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Um, and I would like to take this time to cuddle with my dog to gain some warmth. Of course, yeah. Good idea. Because think, he is probably the same size as me. And Kawasaki is just going to look. Who? It's going to look. Say like, no more sidetracks. <laughs> yeah, I mean the problem is you don't know what's a sidetrack and what isn't. So that's true. Pretty sure the main hallway going down this way <laughs> is the main way. Well, there was another door in there. No, we're not going in there anytime soon. Okay. <laughs> I mean, as far as we know, anyway. Right. Um, I'm looking at the potion and I shake it because there's apparently three layers and I just look at it and it's very cool because the layers don't mix. Mm. Nice. Um, oh. Yeah, just keep going and we can just assume that we skip over the the plates, right? Yes, of course. There. Yeah. No, if you put your token on the, if you put your token on the wrong one, sorry. <laughs> um, are these big doors at the end? Yep. All right. Where do you go? Ah, uh, my dog is under K. Oh. <laughs> um, look, since apparently we're not allowed to go into side doors anymore, I guess the big doors is are it's... they unlocked? Hey, before we uh, go through yeah, any doors, uh, I'm gonna be AFK for a minute. I need to use the toilet. Oh, that's totally fine. We could just take a break. Yeah, let's yeah. Just yeah. Take a break. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll take a quick break here, and uh, we'll come back and find out what's on the other side of this door. Stick around. Be right back. 